Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Worldwide Immigration News. We hope you all doing great. Well, in today's episode, we are going to discuss about the details of all four categories of partner visa to Australia, subclass 820 and 801 onshore, and subclass 100 and 309 offshore. If you have been yearning for new horizons and better opportunities, you are in the right place. To get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with friends and family, who might be interested. Without further delay, let's get into the topic. A spouse visa may be suitable for you if you are currently in a relationship with an Australian citizen or Australian permanent resident or eligible New Zealand citizen, and hope to live in Australia with your partner. To be eligible, it is necessary for all applicants to prove that their relationship is genuine and continuing. Financial commitment, social acceptance, emotional support and the nature of the household, are ways of demonstrating this. Subclass 820 Partner Visa. Temporary. This visa lets the de facto partner or spouse of an Australian citizen, Australian permanent resident, or eligible New Zealand citizen live in Australia temporarily. Getting this visa is the first step towards a permanent partner visa, subclass 801. This is a temporary visa. This leads directly to the permanent partner visa. You must be in Australia when you apply. Stay in Australia temporarily, until your permanent partner visa, subclass 801, application is finalized. Subclass 801 partner visa, permanent. This visa lets the de facto partner or spouse of an Australian citizen, Australian permanent resident or eligible New Zealand citizen live in Australia permanently. It is usually only for people who currently hold a temporary partner visa, subclass 820. This a permanent visa. You must hold a temporary partner visa, subclass 820. Stay in Australia permanently. You apply for the temporary and the permanent partner visas together. Subclass 309 Partner, Provisional, Visa. This visa lets the de facto partner or spouse of an Australian citizen, Australian permanent resident or eligible New Zealand citizen live in Australia temporarily. Getting this visa is the first step towards a permanent partner visa, subclass 100. It is a temporary visa. It leads directly to the permanent partner visa. You must be outside Australia when you apply. Stay in Australia temporarily until your permanent partner visa, subclass 100 application is finalized. Subclass 100 Partner, Migrant, Visa. The visa lets the de facto partner or spouse of an Australian citizen, Australian permanent resident or eligible New Zealand citizen, live in Australia permanently. It is usually granted to people who hold a temporary partner visa, subclass 309. This is a permanent visa. You must hold a temporary partner visa, subclass 309. Stay in Australia permanently. You apply for the temporary and the permanent partner visas together. Who are partner visas for? The partner visa subclass 820 and 801, for onshore applicants, and 100 and 309, for offshore applicants, allows the spouse or de facto partner of an Australian citizen, a permanent resident or an eligible New Zealand citizen, to live in Australia. Being available to both heterosexual and same-sex couples, this two-stage visa is an ideal pathway towards gaining permanent residency, provided you are in a married or de facto relationship. Applicants will need to be sponsored by their spouse or de facto partner. As a part of the two-stage process, successful applicants are initially granted a provisional 820 or 309 visa, depending on their location, and are reassessed two years later, for the permanent 810 or 100 visa, depending on their initial visa. Both visas are applied for in the same application, however, in certain circumstances, you may be eligible to apply under the permanent subclass. Am I eligible for a partner visa? In order to apply for a 820 visa, you must be in Australia when you are applying for this visa. If you are outside of Australia, you may be able to apply for the partner visa subclass 309, which has similar requirements to the onshore visas described here. Marital relationship. If you are in a marital relationship, you must satisfy the following elements to qualify for your visa. Your marriage must be considered legal under Australian law. If you were married outside of Australia, and your marriage is valid in that country, it will usually be considered legal under Australian law. 
Non-recognized marriages in Australia would include same-sex marriages, underage or polygamous marriages. De facto relationship. If you are in a de facto relationship, you must demonstrate that your de facto relationship has existed for at least 12 months before applying for the visa. Please note same-sex couples can apply under this subclass and use the same criteria. If you are in either a marital or de facto relationship, you must show a mutual commitment to a shared life as husband and wife, or as de facto partners, to the exclusion of all others. You and your partner must be living together or, if not, any separation of living arrangements must only be temporary. You must have a genuine and continuing relationship with your partner. And, you must comply with certain health and character requirements. Once you have held either your 820 or 309 visa, you will then be able to apply for your permanent 801 or 100 visa. When applying for your permanent visa, you must continue to be in a spousal or de facto relationship, unless you are subjected to special circumstances which resulted in your relationship ending. In addition to this, you must have complied with all Australian laws while you were on your temporary visa. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully the information is useful to you. See you later in the next episodes. Till then take care.